Good morning. Oh my God, you're so fat. You're the little fattest little dog ever. Okay, you guys, good morning. Um, we are on our way to, what's up, man? Today's the grand opening. <laughs> Today's so the grand opening of the Whole Foods that is walking distance from our house, and we are so excited. We've been waiting for a few months. So we are bringing our basket, which makes us super old. <laughs> Maggie says it makes us cool. <laughs> and that's why she gets to push it. <laughs> Who does this? Only we do. That is funny, but that's about how much we'd probably need. Are you gonna make anything special for us today, babe? Uh, I wanna make uh, vegan taquitos. Ooh, yeah. that sounds bomb. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really sore. Susie, what are you doing? You jaywalker? You jayroller? Wow, this is so neat. Clever girl. <laughs> Thanks, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> Babe, put your um, smart drive on. Yeah. Yeah, not in the middle of the street, though. Right in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> There's a line. There's a camera. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an event. Yeah. Well, I, we didn't realize how big of a deal this was, but I guess like a thousand people come out for the grand opening, and we got like five dollar gift certificates and free bags. And they are coming around with donuts at the moment. I might have to take a bite. What are you doing, Jess? Signing up. For what? The rewards number and find another $5 tab. Oh, nice. Do you want coconut chips, pretzel sticks? I'll get what you don't get. <laughs> Look who came to visit me. <laughs> What's so special about these carts? Have you ever? Have you ever had a brand new cart that you've pushed ever in your life? That's what's exciting about it. This is some serious stuff. Welcome. Oh, I can? Yeah, yeah. You guys are going to come through? I like it, I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, good morning. Welcome. I don't know. Look at it. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> So we came home and Genevieve got us this beautiful flower arrangement and a bottle of wine for our housewarming gift. So beautiful. <laughs> so Garrett just asked if Charlie has a harness and a leash. And we said, yeah, yeah, she does. <laughs> Do you That's like it? <laughs> I swear it is. It is a harness. Wow, look how cute she looks with her little it's angel uh, wings. It's Charlie's. Uh, with her little angel I wings. Asked if she had a oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so wow. Cute. You don't like it? <laughs> See, look at Josh, she has her little leash. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Charlie! Where are you going? Okay guys, we did a huge, huge haul. Most of everything's vegan. Um, I got a couple fish things, but 
I'm going to tell you guys really quick what I got and it's going to be super quick. So pay attention. Here we go. Okay. Whole wheat English muffins, vegan enchiladas, microwavable. Then we got coconut chips because these were free with the grand opening. We also got pretzel chips, free grand opening. More enchiladas, um, cheesy mac, vegan friendly. And we got sparkling water, watermelon. I just started drinking sparkling water and I actually love it. Also got the lime, mint, elderflower. Also got all-purpose flour. Um, organic blue corn chips, organic yellow cornmeal, gluten-free, tofu extra firm. We also got tempe. Um, we got a couple of these. They're eight ounces. And cilantro and vegan all this is vegan so amy's uh spaghetti vegan whole food or whole wheat hamburger buns and then we got fire roasted vegetable um, gluten-free pizza which is vegan friendly as well daya seems like yeah a lot of we're getting a lot of vegan stuff this time around from there and then we got spicy green chili guacamole and then we got these plant-based burger patties um that are really good and highly recommended and we got two of them and then we got salmon yes i'm still eating some fish and we got kale cool ranch um chips ketchup sweet chili sauce more sparkling water cashews um we got these sticky rice chips sriracha and they're called dang i like the name i like the name salsa um bean black bean and corn then we also got um this these um coconut milk yogurt yeah made out of coconut milk yogurt so non-dairy and I got these daily probiotics. I also got daily digestive enzymes. We got a vegan tuna. Oh, I never seen that before. Tuna. I like that. Chipotle chili, garlic powder, onion powder, Dijon mustard. Then we got these awesome vegan blueberry um, muffins, which look really, really good. Also got plain um, coconut milk yogurt. And we got goji berries. Um, peanut butter whole grain clusters daya again is that how you say it gg pepper jack style shred so it's daya. cheese and then we got avocado whole paws dog training treats and then we got more granola and then we got my apple juice because i love these then we also got the these uh coconut almond milk blend it's a toasted coconut and then we got chocolate so they're made out of almond milk um, zero dairy once again and Garrett got this it's a charcoal lemonade which is really really good sea salt fine crystals and that is the shopping haul ladies and gentlemen are you excited all done thank you appreciate that thanks Maggie for setting it all out you're welcome that was awesome Okay, what did you guys make, Mag? We made some vegan tacos. And what is this? Um, avocado. Dipping sauce? Yeah, dipping sauce. Did you guys make it with tofu? Yeah. We wow. Tofu wow. Homemade. Wow. Homemade what a life. <laughs> wow. Vegan taquitos with avocado dipping sauce. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Maggie's making me salmon this way. I've never seen it done, but she swears. <laughs> I swear, look, it all stays in one piece. Like, on like, when you don't wrap it around foil, it, like, the, whenever you try to flip it, it breaks apart. So like this, it all just stays together and it cooks. All you have to do is make sure that it's like sealed tight so the juice won't come out. Okay, Chef Maggie. Oh, come out bomb, I swear. <laughs> And then we're gonna make some red little potatoes and then I'm cutting up some asparagus, some squash, and some onions. Okay, so here is my meal. Got some salmon, vegetables, and potatoes. And I'm actually gonna use this because this is what I use. 
normally for my butter. And then, take some of this and put it on the potatoes. And that's about it. So you guys can see I'm not the best at taking my supplements every day. I just wanted to show you guys that because I know a lot of people miss their supplements and it does happen to the best of us. So is it Wednesday today? Here we go on Wednesday. I missed a lot of days. <laughs> but you know, every day is a new day to try again. So these are my vitamins for the day. And then I just bought a probiotic that you guys seen in the grocery haul and I bought um, digestive enzyme as well. Also, Maggie just reminded me that I need to take my B12 as well because we bought these the other day at CVS or something. Yeah, CVS. But they're also vegan, so I'm going to add that into my daily supplements as well. Because um, they say that the biggest thing that plant-based um, diets do not consume enough of is B12. And that's why I need to start taking more. What's up you guys? Welcome to another day of workouts. Today we are hitting shoulders and I created a two circuit part. So we're going to do four exercises with supersets and then we're going to do another set of four exercises with supersets. So my gym seems to be extremely packed no matter what time of day I go. So I'm really going to look into actually going to a different gym. But I did my best as far as which workouts I was supposed to do. Um, I am starting off with a dumbbell press. Normally I like to sit on the actual bench, um, but we had to use literally like a step up. And I'm going into a dumbbell front raise. So I wanted to kind of let you guys know with the dumbbell front raise and shoulders, you can definitely um, do different variations meaning my palms are faced in right now you can literally face your palms um, up you can face them down just like Maggie's doing here so she's going palms up with a front raise and don't be afraid to change these so if you're doing like I said a front raise you could do different variations with your hands it's not a huge deal it does hit the muscle just a little bit different but never be afraid to switch it up you can always switch things up in the gym even if they're super minor and here I'm going into a lateral raise and originally these are supposed to be seated because um, when you do seated lateral raises you actually get more um, of an isolation on the shoulders but I did not like the way that they were hitting this step, so I um, opted to do them standing up. So Maggie's doing them sitting down. She has longer arms than me, so it didn't bother her as much. Um, but you don't have to go super heavy with these. You could see that I was doing 12 pounds and Maggie's doing 5 pounds here. Especially if you're sitting and you have more isolated exercises, the um, movement's going to be harder in general. So don't feel like you always have to go super heavy on every exercise that you do especially for shoulders so here i'm doing a barbell upright row now i'm trying to tell maggie here don't put it too close to your body you kind of want it um maybe like three to four inches in front of your body when you do these upright rows So you can see Maggie here doing her barbell upright rows. And we're trying to uh, pause for like a second when we get um, to the top of exercises. But we're still um, working on that. And let me know if you guys are liking these detailed voiceovers. I didn't speed anything up. I really want to show you guys the pace I'm going. Um, and even with supersets, I don't want to cut everything out. I want to show you guys how long I actually um, wait to do the next exercise. So this next ex exercise was supposed to be dumbbell um, upright rows. But since my gym is so packed... I couldn't get dumbbells, so I just did the barbell again. Sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do in the gym to keep things moving, and so those were supposed to be dumbbell upright rows, but they ended up being barbell upright rows. Here I am doing a cable rope face pull. Now these are going to work out the, um, the rear delts. 
which is the back of our shoulders. And I'm going into a a barbell military press. Now there's a lot of different variations you could do on this. I like doing this on the Smith machine, um, but today it was the barbell. And then I am doing a barbell front raise. So like I do with the dumbbells, it's the same type of movement, just a little bit different of a variation. I hope you guys enjoyed that voiceover and I will talk to you guys on the next vlog. What's up guys? So I just finished cardio. I ended up doing about 20 minutes of cardio and I am back home but I wanted to show you guys some stuff that I got from Starbucks because I literally feel like almost like guilty but like I don't know just in my own head you know and I know that we all Garrett's waving at me. <laughs> I know that we can all feel guilty sometimes, like if we get things healthy, but maybe they should have been more healthy, but we went on the more non-healthy side. And so I just want to show you guys like when I when I have these moments because you guys are not alone. I don't always eat the perfect things and I'm not always perfect like with my food and stuff like that. Like I showed you guys my Circle K haul. Um, because I do have like a serious sweet tooth, like for tarty and like sour stuff and just like for diet sodas and stuff like that, which is not the best, but like I said, I'm not perfect. So I wanted to show you guys what I got because like, I know a lot of you guys are trying to transition into being like more plant-based and get away from like dairy and stuff like that. So I actually wanted to show you guys a couple things. Um, first off, um, I got this and it is a almond milk horchata. Okay. And, um with caramel drizzle and light whipped cream okay so i got this for garrett but i know he's not gonna really drink it because there's like whipped cream on it and he's like hardcore vegan right now or hardcore plant based but i wanted to show you guys this because you can definitely like wherever you go you can put um any type of almond milk they have coconut milk um and they have soy milk um because most of the time they use normal milk and I don't like dairy because I don't like what it does to my stomach and like I said I'm giving it like I've given I've given up dairy and meat um, so that has almond milk in it this also has almond milk in it and I've been wanting to get one of these for a while it's the grande vanilla bean caramel frappuccino I think oh no it's just like a frappuccino but I got coconut milk instead so it's the vanilla bean looks so good because I had like a really like intense craving right now but that has coconut milk in it so they didn't put the van or the regular milk in it I actually had to put coconut milk and it's the first time I've ever like substituted anything like that or just got a drink like this from Starbucks in general so I just wanted to show you guys that and I hope you guys have a good rest of your night um I am probably gonna go off dinner with Genevieve and just relax I am freaking tired been working all day once again on uh, challenge emails so hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog it was a really long day and I will see you guys bright and early in the morning I have a lot of fun things planned I can't exactly say it um, until tomorrow but I have a lot of cool fun things planned that I can't really say right now but I'm gonna show you guys what it is tomorrow morning all right see you guys bye